What is up, people of YouTube? I have decided to bring you a video about the safest way to make a nuclear reactor. And this is for the industrial craft mod. You also have Bill Craft installed, the best of its Graphics are fast. I'm just like it. I'll make it. Doesn't really matter because we only need a hole. First, you must dig a hole. I suggest a very deep one, like right above bedrock. Um, and I'm gonna show you how to make a six chamber one. So. Just for example, I use all six chambers on mine. There's really no need not to. I mean, was, actually, the need not to is because, you know, you're playing a legit world, right? Why the WTF can I make a little? Why? It's not even, you know, you're playing a legit world, right? And it's hard to build all these things legitimately. Well, it's not hard. It's not cheap. It's just because. But, this is for you high rollers who want a full marks like all six things so you don't have to like this big. It's probably people who want one of these. I'm just gonna wire it up quick. I was pretty good about some of the problems. Why the WTF is not allowing me to put down a cable? There we go. You know, you'd probably run this a ways. Actually, if I were you, I'd only run it not that far because these cables drop power fast. And of course, you need an MSU because it's high voltage. You can make it low voltage, but normally you want to do it after the MSU. And then, uh, another thing you need, you need to put water around it. Because it helps if it does explode on you, which it shouldn't, because I ran one of these for about four hours straight without any explosion but you never know right let's get some water I'll get the uranium cells and the coolant cells and stuff like that where's the water buckets? sometimes all like I'm playing on the technical pack right now so sometimes all these mods make me annoyed because I don't find anything let's see what else did I need let's coolant cells Skip last page. Da, 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 da. Back up one. See those are the biofuel cells. Where are the food from up here? Need a couple of these, a couple of these. Now this this makes a lot of power. And I don't really know what to call it. I kinda came up with this myself. It's just logic to me. I, I did some experiments that I found this to be the most power, least chance of explosion setup that I could come up with. I don't really, I have never really, you know, like, people have a bunch of different strategies for this, but this is what I believe to work the best, and it's what I always use with a nuclear reactor. Because I've never had a problem with it, and I can run a long time without any explosions. Now, as you can see, it takes a lot of coolant cells. You go, oh my geez, you need a lot of cooling cells. Yes, but I know there's some out there that you run it for like so long, right before it's about to explode, you shut it off. I don't really like those strategies. I just like the one to put stuff in it and leave it alone. And that is what this strategy is all about. Being able to leave it in there by itself. Should probably show I don't know if it shows you the recipe for the cooling cells. Like oh yep, yeah, it does. Okay. You can do things, you can get re enriched. Uh, uranium cell and put coal dust next to it, or an empty cell with uranium, make those uranium cells. Uh, for coolant cells, yeah, it doesn't show. Integrated heat plates, uh, we need coolant cell, integrated reactor plating, coolant cell, copper, advanced circuit, and this copper. If you guys are wondering what this is, it's um, uh, it's like a, it's part of the Technet, or I played Techit, not tech it's part of the Techit mod. So you just put these around the stuff. Uh, I know this is taking a while, but ah, cool. come on! I'm kind of, I'm a little bit laggy. That's why it's taking forever. Just fill in all these spots with the integrated heating plates. You put this up there. Put that 
there. That there. That there. Don't worry, we're almost done. Two more. There should be six dream spots. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yep. And I got five uranium. Let's put the water around it next, though. Okay, so. Uh, I bet I can't click on it. Yep. Okay, so we'll just go off the dirt right here. And just kind of fill. It doesn't really matter how you fill the water around it. I'm just kind of placing it all the way around. You can just place one block on top. That looks like it. I'm laying kind of at it. See, I can't even get the fight over. It's just good. Um, put some there. Some right here. Some up there. Oh, there's some dirt blocks. Dirt. It's turning right out. You know, you would probably build a nice fancy room to protect this. But I did not really want to do that. For the, I could make a better one if you guys want. But this is just showing the reactor setup. Okay, so I found this a long time without any explosion, and it's pretty, pretty, pretty good. Some of you other people might have. And see, it's, it's see, looking like 10 seconds already has almost 20,000 power. You know, it's going up there. It's going up. Now, I'm the first person ever to use this setup, so if someone else says on YouTube that they would, that they would have been because I can, I can put they came up with this video by myself. And now, for the other part, I'm going to show you, that's it for the nuclear reactor. The next part I'm going to do is show you how to come from the MS, MSU to a low voltage thing, which I'm going to do right now. If you don't really, if you already know this, you might as well see it now. First, you take one of these 4x4 cables. I should have mentioned that earlier. They're 4x4 four four, uh, super electric cables. Put, uh medium voltage, 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 sorry, voltage transformer, which you just make like this, it's very simple, and low volt, this, then this is how you make a low voltage one, uh, you could put a wire between it, don't really have to do that, just go like that, so you have, and now you need some normal cables, most of you guys probably have, where are they at, I can never find it, that's about copper cable. You just come around like this, like that, right? Then you put your old-fashioned bat box on there. If they don't have one. Let's look at all these pages wasting on the miniature plaques with red power. So you know you get your bat box probably right here. Some more cables come out of that. And let's say you got your base raider. Yeah. Base raider. It's powered up. And then you come back, look over here, and you see that your bat box already has over 100,000 units of power. Very quick. Bat box is full of 40,000. Your things nowhere near overheating. It's all good. The coolant cells are, have no depletion on them. The uranium is pretty much full. You when you run this for an hour, not even an hour. See, it's already. What is that? So it's at 150. Uh, oh, it's, it's, yeah, it's at um 160,000 and a total of 10 million. So it's already. One ten hundredth of the way done, and that's what, like 45 seconds, maybe a minute, probably about a minute, two minutes, something like that. You know, and it, it's kind of an expensive setup, or it takes a lot to set it up, but it's well worth it because it has no problems.
Yeah, this is my end of my tutorial for the safest, uh, safest nuclear reactor with most amount of power output. I'm just gonna call it the best nuclear reactor setup. Well, yep, thanks for watching. Subscribe and like this video.